Hello, hello everyone, how's it going? This is Azarin the Language Nerd here. I want to give you guys a couple of quick pieces of advice today on how you can get unstuck. A lot of language learners hit a plateau and they're, they, they stop progressing. They were progressing before, but they're not anymore. So I want to give a few pieces of advice to help you get unstuck. First of all, why do language learners get stuck? I think there's one of three reasons, most of the time. Reason one is that there's a misalignment between your level learning needs, and resources. Meaning you are using resources that are too hard for you, resources that are too easy for you, or maybe resources that are the right level, but it's not exactly addressing your learning needs. So maybe you're using a great resource for beginner learners or intermediate learners, but you've got a learning need that is not addressed by the resource that you're using. I see this um, frequently in private lessons because I run a language teaching business, so we teach a lot of private and small group classes. And frequently, you know, that's something that we hear from students when they had previous tutors. They switched to using one of our instructors because their previous instructor was teaching them at the right level, but not in a way that addressed their learning needs. So that's why they switched instructors. So that's something to think about. Is there an appropriate alignment between your level, learning needs, and the resources that you're using. If not, you've probably got to switch the resources up to create a better alignment. The second reason is um, you're not dedicating enough time, and so you're not progressing very quickly because you're only dedicating, you know, 40 minutes a week or 20 minutes a week or whatever it is. You're just not dedicating enough time to see the progress that you would like to see. And so in that situation, you need to start analyzing well, why aren't you putting in more time? And get really deep about it. Keep digging deeper. What this means is, do the following exercise. Ask yourself, why am I not putting in more time? And you're going to always have a surface answer. Oh, I'm so busy. Go a level deeper. Ask yourself, what am I busy doing? Make a list, right? Go a level deeper. How much time do I dedicate for each of these activities? you're trying to dig deeper and deeper and deeper to a more and more detailed point where you can start to see answers of where you can open up more time. Or maybe you, when you dig in deeper, you realize, oh, it's not that I'm busy, it's that I'm tired. I'm not actually that busy. I do actually have the time, but I'm just tired all the time. Well, why am I tired? Does that make sense? So dig deeper into it. Ask yourself lots of questions. Dig deeper into what's holding you back from putting in more time and solve the root of the issue. The third reason, it's more of an illusion reason. It's not a real reason, but it's that you feel like you're not making progress, but in reality you are. This is particularly common for people that have an intermediate level or above, because the more you progress in a language, the less you feel like you're progressing frequently. Because in the beginning stages, everything you learn has the potential of helping you progress exponentially. If you knew 50 verbs in Spanish, and then someone taught you that you can, you can talk about the future in Spanish by simply saying, voy a, yo voy a comer, yo voy a, whatever. By learning that one thing, you can now say 50 more things that you could, than you could before. But when you're intermediate or advanced in a language, typically you learn one thing, and it helps you communicate one extra thing. You don't usually get that exponential growth that you would when you're in those beginner phases. So frequently, it's not so much that you're not progressing, it's just that you feel like you're not. In that situation, you know, probably the easiest thing to do is send me a message and we can hop on a quick 15, 20 minute Zoom call. And I'm more than happy to talk with you about how you're using, like how you're trying to progress in whatever language, talk about your methods, and I can tell you in my perspective, in my experience, hey, yeah, you just need to be more patient. Or maybe I can say, well, looks like there's a misalignment between your level and your resources, or I can help you diagnose that issue. The final thing I'll say, then we'll wrap this video up, and this is perhaps helpful for everyone watching, perhaps, or at least for a good percentage of you. Sometimes the solution to being unstuck is education. You know, I heard, um, I've heard two people now say, actually, uh, when it comes to a writing block, if you're a writer and you had a writer's block, I've heard two different people say that there's no such thing as a writer's block. 
if you have a writing block, you actually have a reading block. You have to read to give you more ideas to then help you figure out what you need to write. Because you read something and you realize you disagree with it or you learn something you didn't know. So now you have something to write about. Well, for language, it's kind of similar. You might, for many of you, if you're on, if you're stuck and you have a learning block, well, it might not really be a learning block. It might be a reading block, meaning not reading in your target language, although it could be. I just mean reading in the sense of you need to go read about language learning. You need to read or watch videos about how do you learn languages? How does the brain learn? What are other methods I haven't considered? And as you hear about other people's experiences with language learning, you might hear something or read something that gives you an idea of what next step you need to take. And then that's what ends up helping you get unstuck. So that's also something I'll throw in this video that I think can be helpful for a lot of you. Well, thanks uh, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to send me a message or leave a comment if you have any questions. And um, yeah, we'll chat soon. Bye-bye.